Another tuxedo chronograph in for review. This one coming from Boltony, whose 1926 Oyster tribute blew me away and is still in my collection. That thing is pretty, but the finish quality under macro showed its price point. It doesn't bother me, but there was room for improvement. With this model, I can say the improvements in quality are quite obvious. Even under macro, the only irregularity I found was the slight bend of the washer on two of the hands, while the rest was pretty much perfect, and probably one of the best finishes for the money. Being powered by Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement, the price is kept low at under $150, but apart from the movement, everything else can easily be placed in a higher price bracket. It comes with a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, has a nice thick leather strap, and the highly polished case wears quite nice with 39mm in diameter and under 47 lug to lug. Even the thickness is kept pretty low at 12 point something despite having a stepped bezel and protruding crystal. Speaking of the bezel, it is what makes it so different to all the other watches of this type I reviewed. Most other are purely dress watches and come with polished, usually curved bezels. This one is not only industrial looking because of clear and sharp steps, lacking any curvature, but also because it is brushed in finish. At first, I thought it looks out of place, as the rest of the watch is pretty dressy. But somehow it works and makes it look more rugged and, well, more cool. The dial is excellent in execution with sunken subdials that are surrounded with polished rings that play with light, and print quality of all the markings and numerals is pretty much flawless. The signature tuxedo colorway looks nice but at the same time doesn't affect legibility. The blued hands appear black most of the time and show their true color only when light hits them at the right angle. They're also very well finished, while the main hour and minute hands are a work of art. Not only are they incredibly well finished for the price, but they also have a substance to them, as you can clearly see they're thick and rounded instead of just being a flat piece of cutout metal. The whole dial and hands execution gives the watch a more expensive feel and the watch itself is a very big leap in finish quality compared to my 1926 Oyster. Sadly, I won't be keeping this one in my collection as I simply didn't fall in love with it the way I did with the 1926. But even I have to admit, it is a better watch than mine and by some margin. So if you're in the market for a Mecha Quartz with a tuxedo colorway, this model from Boltony, at least finish quality wise, is one of the best for the money I've reviewed so far. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.